Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Welcome to video number two of this series that I'm doing where I am using a completely different DAW than the one that I am used to as part of the challenge to create more music this year and also as part of the creativity switch. I talked about more in depth about that topic on a live video this past Saturday. I'm gonna leave the link around here anyway. I am using Reaper as my main DAW for this. As a beginner from scratch, right? I am gonna build something on this DAW. In the first video, I got started in Reaper, getting to know the DAW, the features, some things to prepare for the recording stage, right? In this video, I'm gonna be programming some virtual drums using free plugins, in this case, MT Power Drum Kit, which is a cool drum plugin that I am going to be using for this video. I am going to walk you through how I built something from scratch, some drum groups and drum patterns to then start the foundation to create something, a riff, a demo or something, right? For the purpose of this video series, my friends, I am going to be using only free plugins and you're going to be able to see the entire process. All of the applicable links are going to be down below in the description and first comments and don't forget to check out the timestamps as well. Before we dive deep into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnorhunter.com, where I have some freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, my Cubase mixing template and workflow, also some presets of some plugins that I use, and also I am going to be adding new stuff and don't forget to check out my blog and this channel which i'm updating weekly with tons of free content so now let's get straight into the video let's see here i'm gonna add a the empty power drum kit this one to create some drums quickly to create a guitar riff right so we have the drum kit I have sound, so I'm going to call this drums. Drums. Wow. It's very, very loud. Here we have a mixer. The master, yeah. It's still very loud. I'm going to lower more the output, the master, in the mixer within Empty Power Drum Kit 2. Pretty cool that this plugin has already some drum loops built in and you can select different uh, time signatures and even fills for drums so pretty quickly right and you have the velocity for softer intensity let's say normal and heavy so i'm gonna try to build something quickly here and record something in front of you guys the only thing that i don't understand yet that I need is the tempo. Let's see here. Maybe I don't have the tempo activated. 120. Maybe if I right click here. Uh, transport, play rate, mark region. Uh, well, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. I'm gonna change the color here to blue. I like to have the drums in blue. Okay. So let's uh, create something here. Let's find a groove. You have intros. So let's start there. Okay, let's do something simple here. I'm going to drag this drum loop here. Very cool that you have a timeline where you are building the drums. Very alike Easy Drummer, which uh, by the way, Easy Drummer is my favorite drum plugin to build drums faster. And next we have this, but I like the sound more of the SSD5 from Steven Slade drums. I like the sound more than this, but this is very cool to compose, right? We have this. 
then we can start, let's see, crash. I like the kick drum here. Awesome. Then maybe a fill. All right, let's put this one here. So what we have so far. Cool, okay. We're gonna add another one. Then I'm gonna add a fill to enter to, let's say the, maybe the verse of the song. This one's cool. And then I need some hi-hats. Maybe some open hi-hats. Yeah, this one. I liked this one more. Let's uh, choose a fill. Choose this one here. Then another one here. Let's see what we have so far. Let's choose another fill. Okay, got it. This for the final part of the song, I choose a crash. like this one okay so we cannot have more so these are the only groups that i can have here so i guess we can drag this let's see yeah just like that pretty cool let's see what we have here
let's choose a China for the final part. And for the final part, let's choose this one as the ending so i have here this mini files let's see if you double click on them all right cool just as in cubase i have here the where i can edit and here is the velocity check this out because it's pretty cool that we have the normal velocity check out the sound gonna leave it in normal pretty cool right for metal you could have heavy i'm gonna leave it in normal for now here in the mixer pretty cool that you have compression as well so i'm gonna leave it like that Please let me know down below in the comments, my friends, what are your thoughts on these videos? What are your thoughts on this plugin on Reaper? Have you used this drum plugin? What's your approach when using it? And also let me know if you are excited to make more music this year. Let me know if you are part of a challenge of some kind that might help you get there. Before we go, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnorhunter.com. Where I have some freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, some presets of some plugins that I use, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So, thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. I'll see you very soon on the next one. All right? Take care.